I just bought coffee with my iPhone. I went into Starbucks, the drive through I had this, the Starbucks app that had my card number on it. And my balance that's on the card on there. So I hold my iPhone up. The guy reaches out with an electronic scanner and scans my iPhone. And that charged my card $4.05 for a Caramel Macchiato Grande. I know I said that wrong. I complimented the Starbucks lady on saying it so well when she told me what it was really like. I told the guy my grandparents wouldn't know what we were talking about if I told them that. The only word they'd get right was coffee and they'd be wrong about what it was too. But the sad thing is that it cost four dollars and five cents for a cup of coffee. My grandparents would understand that. Okay, this is a lesson in how to vlog on YouTube from many, many, many videos of experience. I can speak to this now and I'm ready to go ahead and share my wisdom and my secrets with the world. Here you go. Whenever you're vlogging, do not complain about nothing. People don't turn into YouTube to listen to other people complain. We all already know how to do that just innately. It's kind of like a puppy knowing how to pee on the floor. You, they, you're just born with that. So we don't need to learn how. We don't need to watch other people do it just for fun. Don't complain. Rule number one. What would rule number two be? Boy, that was a big one. Uh, always be at your very best. Don't ever turn on the camera unless you have just brushed your teeth and combed your hair and put deodorant on. Because YouTube will be able to tell if you stink or smell or just look bad or whatever. So don't even try it. You'll never get anybody to watch your videos if you stink. Well, wait a minute now. I, you're probably thinking that you can't smell through the internet. Well, yeah, but don't you have predispositions towards what people who look bad smell like? Come on. It just goes on internally inside your brain. You can't control it or, or make it happen or stop it or anything. It's just part of life. So it's better just to go ahead and look as good as you can smell. Okay, the other thing is don't ever just go around on YouTube making videos trying to make people think that you're smarter than they are. Everybody on the planet thinks they're the smartest ones in the world. That's just the way people are. So if you go around saying, all right, here's the way life really works in spite of the way you're living yours, people will just pretty much get up and eat right back at you. And now, it's a different thing altogether if you're just telling somebody what the Lord has done for you or something like that. That's fair. You can do that. There's people who would like to know about things like that. What rule are we on now? About five or six or something? Four? If you're going to make YouTube videos, another rule would be not to be any better looking than any of the other vloggers on YouTube. I don't have that problem personally and never resembled anything beautiful so it's not an issue for me but I, I've seen people with with failures in that area on videos that I've watched so just something to think about if it doesn't apply to you don't worry nothing about it get those rules down like that why you pretty much got vlogging to the T you got her whooped I think the only other thing I'd say is if you're if you're on YouTube because you want to get a whole bunch of views on your videos, then you're listening to the wrong guy. I should have made that rule number one because I don't know nothing about how to get people to watch your videos. I don't really have any interest in whether a lot of people watch my videos. I just pray that God will tell people to, to watch my videos if it'll do them some good, you know. Here we are, flying down the freeway. At a blistering pace. There's some buildings over there. You're welcome. I know. That's pretty exciting. If the blistering pace don't kill you, the, the view will just knock your socks off. 
whatever. How would you like to have a view of the freeway right back, right here, from your own front room? I think you have to pay extra for that. This day and age. Of course, this day and age, you pretty much have to pay extra for everything. I had to pay my own money for this camera so I could put videos up on YouTube that you'd have to watch on that computer you bought with your own money. They get us coming and going. <laughs>